Yo, Plant Based Buddies, um, welcome back. Um, I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about veganism. I'm not going to talk about that a lot because I want to stay in my lane. This group is about health. I am a doctor with a certification in nutrition. I am not um, here to talk about animal ethics or the environment. I am not specialized in that area. But I still wanted to talk about veganism because I know a lot of people who are vegan are on this group. And uh, then I'll go back to talking about nutritional science. <laughs> So uh, I want to differentiate what, what the different dietary patterns mean. First of all, veganism is a philosophy or an ethical code in which you live your life in a way where you're not causing um, or you're minimizing harm to animals. Uh, you don't eat animal products for ethical reasons when you're a vegan. And that's not synonymous with health. Uh, vegans are typically healthier than those who eat a standard American diet just because uh, they avoid animal products. <laughs> but um, Oreos, Oreos are vegan. Uh, French fries are vegan. Pepsi is vegan. Junk food can be vegan. And you can be <clears throat> unhealthy and vegan. That being said... I went to a plant-based diet uh, for health reasons and veganism came later. So just kind of keep in mind that a lot of people are vegan uh, for their own reasons. I do identify now as a vegan, but I don't like to talk about it too much because the veganism that you see online is very polarized. Um, whereas most of my life was spent not being vegan and the last of the last decade, most of that was spent in a gray zone where even if I didn't eat any animal products, uh, I didn't feel like I had to preach or prone or try to convince other people to change their ways. Now, that being said, uh, when I started eating plant-based, I still ate meat on the weekends. Very often, once a month, we went to the restaurant. I would have enjoyed red meat or steak. And I was still super healthy back then. I ate meat rarely uh, and consumed dairy rarely, but uh, not zero. Uh, that came after I was about 95% plant-based and felt great, reversed most of my medical conditions, but there was still a little bit of dairy in my coffee and uh, maybe um, on a boys trip, I would have eaten meat just to kind of not be a hassle to everyone else who now needed to figure out where we could eat so that Jules could, could eat. <laughs> but I mean, on boys trip, everyone was uh, splitting the groceries, except for me, I was buying my own shit. Oh, my own stuff, <laughs> my own food. Um, but later on, I, I, I was so close um, to being 100% that I just kind of started dabbling a little bit in, in veganism. And by that, I mean informing myself what it meant, right? Um, a lot of my followers or, or a lot of the, the influ influencers that I, I was following... We're talking about veganism in a really hardcore, intense, aggressive way. And I really wasn't loving that message. So, uh, but some of the things that, <clears throat> that they said to me um, stuck. And one of those things was watching a documentary called uh, Earthlings and Dominion. Now, if you want to not sleep tonight, I recommend you maybe consider go watching that because it's a basically, in a nutshell, it's um, hidden cameras in slaughterhouses and in dairy farms and what goes on at these uh, in behind the scenes um, literally kept me up that night and that next day I could not pour dairy in my coffee knowing what I had learned. 
Now, I'm not saying that all farmers or all dairy farmers are exactly like the ones in these documentaries, but I didn't want to support that anymore. Knowing that I was already 95% whole food plant-based, it was so easy for me to go all the way, and uh, I did. So eggs, dairy, and the little bit of meat that I ate once in a while uh, disappeared overnight. Slowly but surely, I began learning about how that a plant-based diet basically cuts about 50% or half of your carbon footprint, and I started connecting with that too. Now, I don't want to sound hypocritical. I do not drive an electric vehicle. I drive an SUV, um, and although I do recycle and garden and try to minimize my carbon footprint, I still have a Keurig that produces K-cups, um, and once in a while we go back to using the filters and then we go back to the K-cups because it's inconvenient. So I, I do understand that for a lot of people it's about convenience. And at some point I will connect so deeply that I will go out of my way uh, to not buy throwable K-cups like I did uh, with my nutrition, right? But when things cause friction in your life and you feel you're good enough, Typically, people don't change, and that's the whole concept with, I'm sure, some people here, either for uh, ethical reasons or for health in general. Um, now, veganism is a way of life, and I don't like that term being used for diet. So when you say to uh, people, I eat a vegan diet, and then they're like, oh, you're vegan? Well... I mean, I didn't throw out my old leather belts that I had here, or my old leather shoes. But now if I buy new ones, I'm definitely more conscious and try to avoid any products that have animal products uh, in it, not just food. But that's where I'm sure that people are in the gray, some people are in the gray zone here because I was there for years. I cared about animal cruelty, I didn't want to support it, yet the amount of caring was still overshadowing the amount of friction that it would have caused to change. And that's why I stayed put for years, and that's why most people live their lives exactly the way they live it. Um, it'd be all better if we bike to work, but a lot of people are not going to, most people here are not going to do that, and I'm not going to do it either. Um, and I do like driving an SUV, right? So I do understand that that sounds almost hypocritical because some people see it as you're eating a vegan diet and so you're vegan and so you're, should, your priority should be protecting the planet and protecting the animals. Um, I am at a place where I feel I'm good enough <laughs> and I sleep very well at night knowing that I have lowered my carbon footprint probably by 40-50%, that I don't eat any animal products at all at all at all but if someone mistakenly slips a bit of shredded cheese in my bowl i will remove the shredded cheese and as much as i can and eat the rest and i will not throw a fit at the waiter um so that's why that if we have hardcore intense vegans here's here that are advocating for animal cruelty i applaud you we need more, more, more of you guys. This is just not the group to do it. There are a lot of Facebook groups that are for that, and I'm probably on these groups too. Um, it's just not the goal here. But I, but, but veganism just still plays a big role in who I am and the philosophy that I teach to my kids. So I just wanted to make sure to address it at least once. Um, but I am not an extremist. I am, well, yes, I actually am an extremist. <laughs> if you've probably not noticed that yet, I'll tell you now. Um, but I'm extreme about things that I am fully cognitively and emotionally connected to. And if you've watched my videos on <laughs> cognitive conviction, um, you pre people know what I'm talking about there. Anywho, that's about it. We're at the 10 minute mark. So uh, I just wanted to make sure to talk about the differences between veganism and plant-based eating. I consume a plant-based diet for 
health just so happens it contains no animal products and thus can be called a vegan diet i can't believe i used the word thus in a in a sentence tell me if that what you that, that was used correctly <laughs> anyways <laughs> that's hilarious um now i would say i am living a vegan lifestyle um there are different levels of veganism. I am, I don't know the levels, but I'm, I'm 99% there, like I say. Um, I go out of my way now to not eat animal products, but I am not, likely not going to be striking with billboards and handcuffing my arm to a caged animals anytime soon. So, um... If that's what you're looking for here, you are likely not going to find it. I am going to stay in my medical uh, lane and talk about health. But I know that there are vegans here, and I'm one of you. <laughs> and I just wanted to make sure to address it and to see it as a nuanced spectrum. Veganism is as a spectrum as diet is, as change is. Some people are here and some people are there and there's a spectrum and I'm like right there. So let me know if we have any ethical vegans here. Please comment if you are. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm curious if anyone's going to comment at all. Um, my guess is that there may be one or two. But if there are dozens, I'd lo love to know. All right on. Cool. All right. Have a good night. We'll go back to talking about food and health very soon. Peace.